The inquiry into state capture resumed today with more damning revelations after a month-long break. Former Busasa Chief Operations Officer Angela Agrisi took the stand, unraveling a network of grand corruption and even admitting to wrongdoing while he was in charge of a company. He told the commission that Busasas did indeed use bribes to get deals. The company has been implicated in capturing some key state functions at the Department of Correctional Services. State Capture Commission resuming with its work. 2019 coming with explosive revelations on some of Busasa's dealings. The company has been implicated in capturing some key state functions at the Department of Correctional Services. This is the first time since the inception of the commission a witness is willing to put his head on the block. In his testimony, former COO of Busasa, Angela Grizzi, likely to implicate himself and 38 others. I'd become blunt in understanding what was happening at this stage, and I'd become very accepting. And unfortunately, it happens to a lot of people. And my urge as well is for people out there, especially in Basasa, to start coming forward as well. So I was blunt, I had kept quiet, and I should have exposed the unlawful activities from day one. Unraveling the networks of grand corruption at Busasa before the commission, Agris also told how the company allowed his wife to receive a monthly salary despite not being an employee. This to avoid being taxed too much. My wife was employed on paper um, as well as myself. This was done on the advice of Dr. Jurgen Smith at the moment. Two reasons, for the pension benefit and also for the tax purposes. And also the, the relevant fact is that my wife was actually my personal assistant at Malope. And when I left Malope because I was in a senior position, she obviously wouldn't be a personal assistant at Malope anymore. So she was dismissed as I joined an opposition company. Agris's appearance at the inquiry was kept a secret until this morning. Security factors were stated as one of the reasons why his appearance was kept a secret. And for the first time, the commission had evidence without the involvement of the Kuptas yet. Agrisi told the commission on how Busasa made its dealings. Gavin Watson would spend a lot of time in my office, and so would every other director would spend a lot of time in my office, and normally I would be behind my desk and I had a small table and they would spend time there. So a lot of the times the directors would come in and ask Gavin for money because they need to sort this person out or that person out or they need to literally um, pay bribes. The inquiry continues tomorrow. Ntlantla Katlani, SABC News, Johannesburg.